Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Secretary of the Department of Education, Honorable Sara Z. Duterte. Maraming salamat. Maari po kayong maupo sa ating pinakamamahal na Mayor Joy Belmonte, sa ating Education Champion, Congressman Roman Romulo, sa aking mga kasamahan sa Department of Education, sa aming mga kabataan, mga kababayan, ladies and gentlemen, asalam mo lay kum, madayaw mayong adlaw kaninyong tanan, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Sa bagong taon, patuloy nating bibigyan ng mas malalim na suporta ang mga pangangailangan ng ating mga mag-aaral. Ginagamit natin ang mga natutunan natin mula sa pagsusuri, gaya ng PISA, at naglunsad tayo ng mga proyekto tulad ng Learning Camp at Catch Up Fridays para siguruhin magkakaroon ang mga mag-aaral ng mga mahalagang kasanayan mula sa curriculum. Kasama rin dito ang pagpapabuti ng kalusugan ng mga mag-aaral kasama na ang kanilang pisikal, sosyal at emosyonal na kalusugan. We care deeply about our students' health and education. Schools are vital for promoting health and we've been working hard to make them even healthier places to learn. Despite our efforts, we still face challenges in the well-being of our students. Alam niyo po, ang Pilipinas po ang president ngayon ng Southeast Asian Educator, Education Ministers Organization. At uh, kapag noong nagkasama kami ng mga iba't ibang education ministers ng, ng ibang bansa sa Southeast Asia, naging kaibigan ko po yung isang minister nila sa Thailand. At um, yung edad ko na 45 years old ay kabaligtaran sa edad niya at sa experience niya sa education sector dahil nasa 81 years old uh, na siya. At tinanong ko siya, sabi ko, ma'am, sa tagal ng iyong trabaho sa edukasyon ninyo sa inyong bansa, ano ba ang natutunan mo? Napakasimple ng sagot niya sa akin. Sabi niya, kapag hindi masaya ang bata, hindi matututo yan. Sabi niya, you need to make every child happy. That is the key to their learning. Ganun lang kasimple ang sagot niya sa akin na natutunan niya sa ilang taon na trabaho niya. Sabi niya, kapag hindi iyan masaya, hindi iyan papasok sa paaralan. Kapag hindi iyan masaya at nagugutom yan, hindi papasok yan, hindi makikinig yan sa kanilang mga guro. At kapag may problema sila, dinadala, mabigat sa kanilang utak, walang papasok kahit anong turo mo sa kanila. Walang papasok sa kanilang utak, sa kanilang ulo. Kaya napakahalaga po na bigyan natin ng importansya ang kalusugan at mental health. Kalusugan sa pag-iisip ng ating mga kabataan, ng ating mga learners. We care deeply about our students' health and education. Schools are vital for promoting physical health and mental health. And we've been working hard to make them even healthier and safer places to learn. Despite our efforts, we still face challenges in the well-being of our students. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown how important mental health is, especially for kid, kids and teens. It has highlighted long-ignored issues in this area. Our school-based feeding program has also had to adapt, providing nutritious food products instead of hot meals, 
making it harder to ensure our students are well nourished. But we will not stop. We will do even more. Today, we launched the school mental health program and the school-based feeding program for fiscal year 2024. Both improved more attuned to our learners' needs. As a DepEd secretary and a mother, I believe these programs are crucial for our students' mental and physical well-being. Our school mental health program aims to create a safer and supportive environment for learners where they feel valued and heard. We will continue to work closely with experts, teachers, and school leaders to provide support and referrals for students facing mental health challenges. Together, we have worked hard, and among our key wins was the first ever special provision for school-based mental health programs in 2023 and the establishment of the first mental health unit within the Department of Education. We also trained teachers to spot mental health problems, taught over 10,000 personnel about psychological first aid, and expanded our network of partners in mental health. Because of all these efforts, we reduced the numbers of undocumented learner suicides by 65%. We were also able to increase the mental health budget for 2024 to 200 million pesos, double the previous amount. This will help our schools psychologically safer with plans to add mental health services to our learners, telesafe hotline, and establish mental health teams in each region. Alam nyo, sa totoo lang, sa mga diskusyon at mga meetings namin, kaparte ng uh, mental health ng mga esudyante, ay merong isang assistant secretary namin sa Department of Education na nagsabi na sa susunod, dapat meron ding mental wellness at mental health programs ang ating mga guro at ang ating mga non-teaching personnel ng Department of Education. Dahil napakarami ng mga nakita din namin na problema sa field operations na may kinalaman sa mental health ng ating mga guro. As an example, sasabihin ko sa inyo, yung ASEC na yun, napigay siya ng example. Dahil galing siya, sa ranks. So, galing siya sa, as a regional director. At sinabi niya, isang beses, kailangan niya mag-solve ng problema dahil ang teacher pumapasok sa paaralan na ang kanyang underwear ay nasa labas ng kanyang uniform. So, sabi niya, napakahalaga ng mental health program dahil ako man nung RD ako hindi ko alam kung paano solusyonan dahil hindi din alam ng principal kung paano solusyonan hindi alam ng division kung paano solusyonan umakyat hanggang sa akin na hindi ko din alam kung paano solusyonan ang mga ganong klaseng kaso na nakikita natin sa field operations kaya napakahalaga din na magawa din natin ang mental health programs para sa ating mga teaching kawane ng Department of Education. We also recognize the importance of nutrition in students' motivation, thinking skills, behavior, and overall health. Our improved school-based feeding program provides nutritious meals and milk to kindergarten and undernourished grades 11 to 6 students. For 2024 to 2025, our budget has doubled to 11.7 billion pesos, making each meal more cost-effective. This has earned recognition from global organizations, highlighting the Philippines as a leader in school health and nutrition. I am immensely proud of the school-based feeding program which not only improves students' health, but also supports local farmers, food producers, cooperatives, and small and medium enterprises. We've collaborated with various agencies to ensure a steady supply of nutritious food products, and we've worked 
with experts to develop milk products for our students. Today, I'm happy to announce that all components of the program, including hot meals, nutritious food products, and milk, are accessible to our learners. I want to express my gratitude to all our partners, stakeholders, teachers, parents, and education champions for prioritizing our learners' well-being and protection. Thank you for being faithful allies in nourishing the minds and strengthening bodies. Mga kababayan, Patuloy po tayo maging matatag tungo sa pagtaguyod ng isang bansang makabata at mga batang makabansa. Ang lahat ng ginagawa natin ay para sa Diyos, sa bayan, at sa pamilyang Pilipino. Syukran. Thank you, Vice President and Secretary Honorable Sarah.